Uh, now, okay, mo model, just very briefly, the model, 1108. And 10 radon. okay, this is an important one. We have a whole bunch of different kinds of antennas, and there's a picture for each one of them. Rear fed reflector, flat plate array, inverse cast grain antenna re represented as a reflector, a sine X over X antenna pattern, a front fed reflector, a real inverse cast grain, which isn't implemented, but that's all the math for like a proper inverse cast grain antenna. A couple of flavors of the re inverse cast grain represented as a reflector, all in the book. A mirror scan reflector, a truncated reflector, that should look familiar, and a tor even a torpedo head. You put that in there. So you learn a lot about missiles by studying torpedoes. They operate underwater, the propagation's coming from over your head. But it's almost the same thing, and a torpedo is a flat plate array. The wavelength is like six or seven centimeters, so we can convert that to RF. So it's possible to do all this, which, you know, we didn't really uh, follow up on that. But just to say, if you went looking in online for torpedo information, so after the, in the 50s, there's some great tutorials that give you all kinds of information that will be classified about missiles. <laughs> Open source references for all kinds of things like modes and hunting methods and no, no, no. So if I click load, reload current model, we go back to where we were. Now, no matter what model you choose, see this green button, create and save default missile model. If you click that, it's whatever one you selected on this radio group, it's going to create it and save it. 